but in in a corner of that small dark room Sholmes and I waited with bated breath in time there came from the ventilator a hiss and a soft almost growl like sound suddenly Sholmes sprang into action lashing furiously with his cane at a point in the darkness you see it Wilson he yelled his tense voice reverberating through the air I raised my dark lantern shutter and the room slowly came into view. Sholmes was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words, the speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which she referred, Wilson. In front of us was an enormous adder, its fangs bared as it threatened to strike. It truly was the most terrible speckled band I had ever seen. Okay, that's one way to start things off. On January 6, 37 a.m., on board the stern ship Bar Baryuya. Hey, everybody, I'm Gone Sweet. Welcome to Let's Play. Oh, let's get after this. So then, let us unravel this mystery and discover what events led to this curious murder. Pray, do excuse me. The cabin door was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So, this would appear to be a locked room mystery. In his final moments, the victim scrawled a message on the floor. Hmm. Almost certainly with the ink from this upset bottle. A Russian word. So, the victim was a Russian man then. And the letters are well formed, suggesting he was compass mentis at the time. Hmm, this is a most extraordinary script. And evidently, not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. This paper seal was placed just prior to the incident, by the victim himself, I would venture. Well, what have we here? Uh, uh, who are you, and what do you think you're doing here? Da, da, no one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait! Shh. That won't be necessary. You see, in less than five seconds from now, I will reveal the killer to you. Uh. What? Don't be absurd! This is murder! I need cabin locked from inside! Ah yes, the locked room. But that mystery is paper thin. You, you don't mean the culprit is in there? <laughs> who, who are you? And where have you come from? I'm a great British consultant detective, the only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. I presume... You must have heard of me. Oh boy. Mm, my head is throbbing. What's going on? Something's not right here. There's trouble in the air. Oh, 
Where? Where's the Kazuma? Oh boy. You're gonna pretend you don't know, does it? This is bad. Won't we get into trouble? Don't you find it? In the story? Besides, who else could come to Inca? Is it really something else when you brought your luggage in earlier? The way you rush, the, rush, uh, the Russian just tossed for or just tossed your traveling case on the floor. I thought I was gonna die. I still can't. I still can't believe that. I, I really didn't think you were able to fit inside my trunk. Really, you were must be able to less. Uh, less of a man. Uh, honestly, I honest. I fucking every. Oh, no, my body. Uh, oof. Well, the other thing. 50 days until we dock. 50 days? Okay, how long have we been out? Oh, on this one. Russians wouldn't be very forgiving of story. The very study front. There's a st there are study ones for you, sir. I don't know. I want to know. I want to know is why did you? Why do we need to keep it a secret from the young lady? From our faithful just all this. Uh, you mean from your close friend? More to the point, surely we would have confined her, couldn't we? I don't believe she's giving me away. She's giving me away. No, oh, but if she knew what we'd done, and that would make her guilty of associate. It's the best that you only know about this. Hmm? I suppose sure. So anyway, it's about time that is that the steward is supposed to come and clean the cabin. I know it's crap, but you better get in there. I think it won't be for long. Anyway, go right to the hiding inside my chest. Cowl case? It can't be. Everybody's. But, yes, but. Oh, the sword is. Oh, for some reason. Then I'll be in for it. Stop worrying. I'll tell you what. Why don't you write keep out? Or paper something that is a piece of paper. What? That can't. Then I can't. Then I can see. That was once your. I, I don't know. We've only been on sea for 15 days. Wow, we're only 30 days left. How can this happen? 
We're supposed to be going to the adventure of the Ina together. Well, just want to stay quiet until then. Don't. There's a little. No. You said it before. You say it a minute after. No, that's not wrong. I mean, yes, I still. But, what do you think is the No one. That's all I can do is find Examine the body, but of course, he has no post mortem analysis experts. Yes. I don't suppose we shall learn more as an, until an expert has consulted, until the next port is called a call. You mean there is no obvious external signs of injury then? That's true, yes. Not the incident. I don't understand. Something new. What do you say? Oh, well, yes, I was, but I was waiting outside the cabin. I heard I have every day, so or I had no words. But this morning he could not come, so I. He was already dead when someone arrived. I lot. Something before about being a stowaway, didn't you? Oh, yes, I'm afraid it's true. It's two weeks since we left a pan, and I've been shut in this cabinet the entire time. I had no idea. But then, how would you have the cabin for so long without being noticed? No, no, no. Me. You wanted to go to England to get us to go to England to go. He actually asked you? What? Huh? 
I don't understand. So, why did you want this? What was the real reason? Why did you go so strange like to smuggle me to England with you? It's an idea has been on my mind ever since the end of that incredible trial. To think, I think I told you then, didn't I, that I that you had to become a lawyer yourself. Well, yes, you did say that, but I didn't think you were serious. You have the talent for it, I can assure you that. I, I've never really thought that about becoming a lawyer. Well, that's something you can decide for yourself. London is, is at, a, at the spearhead of the cultural development, center of the world in many ways. There can't be any harm in seeing such an important place with your own eyes, can you? Well, no, definitely not. The only per- but on a personal level, if you were to become a lawyer, then... Then what? Nothing. Forget it. saying the same thing, that he wanted to change the Japanese legal system. Perhaps he thought that he could do that with you. Yes, maybe, but something still is bothering me a little. <sighs> the look on his eyes then, it was darker than I've ever seen it before. Oh, Suzaki so Sorry to keep you secret from you, but my If I know if I knew Kosama son, I expect he was trying to protect me to avoid from me. The source of Soshi. That's it's actually right. The words perfectly fact. Last night. But you are not the cause of the tell me. What happened last night? brought me something to eat, just like he always did. I own and then always got myself into that wardrobe, or just like I did always did. But then, after that, I fell asleep. Um, well, well, so deeply that you didn't even stay. Oh, yes. Something's definitely off of that. I know it sounds unbelievable, I really do, but it's true. I've only have woken up from the top. And for some reason, my head's still throbbing like anything. Really? Um, is something wrong? Oh, um, no, it's... Please, forget it. So, son, you have to be... I really don't want to doubt you. But the trouble is, there is no one else who possibly done it. Ugh. Oh. Uh, I don't understand. Why? Why have? Why did this have, have to happen? Ugh. Oh, I can't take this. Oh, it's fine. You're tired. I can't leave again. I'm sorry. But, because... Oh wow, what the? That was a suicidal takedown. A suicidal what? What martial arts on that? On that? I'm going to need you to prove it. Sorry, prove it. Yes, you're innocent. Yeah, yeah. 
not supposed to. We have to. Something cool. Door or another crew member decided to look inside. Naturally, he did not. He did the same last night as well. Ah. <laughs> the gentleman who discovered he peeled the sign from the wharf hotel before he opened it. And I'm virtually covered. I couldn't have climbed back inside a wardrobe and stuck it outside the door on my own. Yes, that's quite true. It's impossible if I can. Oh, even if you are sprawled hopelessly on the floor. I can't see why a customer thought highly of you. I thank you so much. Now, let's get help me up. <laughs> well, in the light of that evidence, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't stop you from getting here and here at least. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry. No. What? I'm not sure yet. I can't rule out the possibility you use some sort of conjuring trick to... Um, what does you think I am, a magician? For now, I suggest you investigate thoroughly as possible here. I do the same. I'll do this thing. Alright, let's get to work soon. Please don't misunderstand me. I still have my doubts. Oh, of course. I'll send you watching it. Oh, sorry, you have I won. Ugh. Can she stop? May I, uh, may I have to send it? Can you please stop? Well, from one friend to another! Yep, that's Nick's descendant for you folks, if in a nutshell. Within a nutshell. <sighs> okay, so, wow. Bad timing. Um. But yeah, welcome back, guys. Because I didn't really get a chance to much talk. Welcome back to Invest. Um, to. It's the Great Dice Detective Chronicles. Oh, um, sorry about the length last time. I did not expect part three to, um, of uh, the trial to actually be that long. I'm not gonna lie. Um, um, I should have ended it on part two and then continue on part three today, uh, today, but three to town. Um, um, I have my, um, I have, I turned off, I got rid of the, um, little help thing I had earlier, um, so today, and from this point onwards, it's completely blind, unless, like, what happened last time, I need an exact help, but I'm hoping to forgo that, um, um, like I said, nearly three hours. Well, um, most first cases don't last as long. I think, um, the first time about Spirit of Justice was about that long. I think it was like two hours long, last I remember. Or, um, but I never expected it to be that long. Um, um, um. Also, sorry if my voice was not speaking loud enough in, um, that I was not expecting the mic not to pick up that loud, um, that quiet. All right, let's get started. A murder happened, and we're a victim, and we're <laughs> the suspect again. Well, anyway, I should make start of the investigation on the investigation in here. Examine everything I can. Kazuma, I swear, I will avenge your death. I 
I start with? Oh. I got. It feels kind of bright. It looks like it's written in ink. He must have knocked down, knocked the ink pot on the desk when he collapsed on the floor. I s then I suppose he wrote this message. What is his sentence? Or on no doubt he was terrible pain. It's almost unbearable. I mean, I suppose he was trying to leave some sort of clue in the final moment, was he? I'm sorry, partner, but I can't read your writing. <laughs> I don't think that's Japanese night or something. What? Then that language is it? But it pains me to admit, but I don't know. I think that's English. That's so I think that's Russian. And the foreign script, I'm not in the foreign script. I'm not in the foreign script I'm familiar with. What does it mean, I wonder? Oh dear, that won't do. Huh? What's the matter, son? Whenever I examine things, I always find myself focused. I forgot to look around properly. Ah, oh, that's not good. I suppose you're a fool that I break that regard. Alright, please. Are you know son? Are you careful? Are you sure you're careful looking around using that? Aren't you? Now, let's investigate all corners of the cabinet. Yes, let's do that. I suppose my field of vision may be rather until... Outside in the room, a situation like this. Yes, that's a clever trick, isn't it? I am an avid reader of the t of a detective stories myself, but the door in the cabinets and its frame is made of metal, and they seal the foreign uh, perfectly. Now there will be no possibility for of using needle and the thread tape here. I'm afraid. Uh, great. Why did she clear me like I felt pain and needles all up in my spine? I guess I said it's too much. I'm uh Alright. I will my I don't know. My mother told me the Japanese people do not make jokes, but it's not true, I see. Sorry. Grandma is asking for this. Very funny. Uh, I wasn't supposed to be a joke. He doesn't appear to be laughing either. He's convinced that you're guilty. So, I, so last night, did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? I, yeah, of course not. Back to the corner of the room and make silence. I may I say no more to you. Hmm. Did I hit a nerve? Just for a moment, there. He seemed a little flustered. Why do you think this is? I've looked like a broken piece of glass. Well, there was. I've it. 
The glass is such a beautiful color. It looks cute. Oh, a little uh, maid's sake fashion era in a, for a Camino outfit. A nurse? Oh, that sounds like Kazuma. <laughs> yeah. I wonder. What if he wasn't secretly carrying a cute little trinket like this around with him, wouldn't he? And it's marked beside it. I wonder. Or, or, is it some sort of black, uh, brick like you? Yes, you're right. The color is. It's a color of brick. That's it. it even though I didn't see anything of the same color in the, also in the cap. It's, that's my dinner for last night. A roasted chicken. It was very tasty. Yes. Yes. It was a... But... Did you eat it on the floor over there? I'm not a dog. I was not. I ate the table, of course. Which it begs the question. And when and how did the plate end up on the floor? Because all of a sudden, didn't like chicken at all, did he? No, that's right. <laughs> he didn't touch it. Which means the more, all the more for me. Oh no, that was, that means, where was Zuma spent his last night on Earth in an empty mountain? Hey, it's just too horrible. Ugh, now I suddenly have a guilty conscience on an achy stomach. A sword. That's Kusuma's precious sword. He never... I never went out it. Yes. He was always saying that the Japanese man's katana in his sword. That's all. I believe it's hard to believe the very Very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring that on the trip. I suppose that shows how important it was to him. And how... And now he's gone. But now I'm ready to... I can only get just yet. There's nothing on the table at all. The plates curved and cutlery over there are for the same reason. Yes, that's strange. Last night when I went to sleep, I'm sure I saw I'm sure everything was still Oh, wait a minute. What is it? That's funny. I can't seem to remember anything about what happened last night after the dinner at the hall. Oh. Well, that perhaps are you responsible for what happened? No, 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 no. no. Oh. <laughs> Seiji, the Japanese word for justice. A straight, true, straight and true like Kazan. Yes, he's his calligraphy. Always has been reflected on his heart. But you, can you really look into those characters without feeling shame and knowing that who drew them thoughtfully? Of course I can. I mean, I'm innocent, so why shouldn't I be able to? Even though you stowed away on the ship. Put touche. <laughs> now you're going to bring that up, are you? I can't win. Very large shovel case, isn't it? Yes, it carries a lot of memories for me. Memories? What do you mean? Well, that's actually how I still wait on this vessel. I was brought on board in that case. Ah, oh, yes. I see that. That's the way up. <laughs> in Japanese. In hindsight, I would have realized that the foreign crewman wouldn't be able to read. I was turned around over and over and over. I was tossed on the floor here. Oof. Oh dear, being a stone wind is on me. You don't say! You don't say! <laughs> well, it's a painful one. It's a less painful than Sozogo's takedown. Yeah, touche. The books have fallen over the shelf. Look. They toppled over the same way. 
That's... What is that? And what's that? This. A statue of some god of the sea. Although he's blown over as well. As if almost the whole show was ransacked, everything moved mown down at once. And I wonder if Asuka's almost on doing his morning sword training, don't you think? I'm s I am seriously doubt it. Touche. Then perhaps... It was a Yuru no wrong son, it being a bit. I wouldn't have bothered leaving the wardrobe just to mess with a few books in the statue. Couldn't could things have been gone about have anything to do with the, the case, I wonder. Well I don't like the There are some things missing. Looks like provided a turn. <laughs> and they was well. You must have done. <sighs> it wasn't me who knocked them over. Well, anyway, I feel much better that you're nearly lined up. Uh, I can't relax another mess in the arm. So. <laughs> There's rules of past. Passage for travel aboard the SS Barrel. In essence, essentially, a list requires for the cap request for the captain and to all passengers on board. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in the cap in their cabins. Pets are strictly forbidden. Uh, of course. What? What are you staring at me for? Oh, sorry. I just, I was just thinking. I am already, I am already, oh, oh, okay, you really had to go there? I can't decide. Well, one thing's for sure, either way, I'm not supposed to be in here. Ah, ah, touche. This is, Yes, it's a bell cord. Com contraption, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's contra- You only mean contraption. I read about it in the books. It was, I was in a study talking about the life of, in Britain, Great Britain. Large households have a bell cord in wit like this, which you pull on the ring to summon a servant. Really, that sounds almost magical. Don't pull it. Shall we give it? It's a little try. Yes. Is it? Ugh, of course. Doesn't work like that. That's why I came for a lowly Japanese man. I don't know, I'm sure it's just everybody's busy, that's all. It's some two weeks since we sat sail in Japan. Have you really been living that road trip the entire time, Nabu-san? I think living isn't quite the right description. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I'm supposed to not. Oh, I'd rather than ex exciting making voyage a secret in your own secret hideout. The trouble was, I was never, I never knew when a member of the crew came in. So yes, I did basically live in the wardrobe, and last night was no exception. Because of that, you had no idea what happened in the cap. No, sadly not. would have sat whenever he was writing. London Diary. Oh, mm -hmm. Kazuma, he did not, he didn't make it to assassination. It looks, it looks like through the, um, the last entry was incomplete, which means, what? 
He was in the middle of writing when the incident happened. Let's see what it says. Come on, got a question. Why? Because no one would have departed his words. We may not read his private thought. But what if it's something important, something relevant to the case? Alright, alright, I won't read it. Oh, come on. There was no one sign. I don't like prying in people's personalities either. But in this case, if there's need for the clues, I see there's more. Is there anything else in here I need to read? Okay. I think that's some kind of opening or ventilation. I pulled through uh, into the cabin. Isn't that a little odd? What do you mean? Well, the ventilation, if there was this, that's what it did. It looked like another connection to the next cabin. Yes, I would appear so, if you're right. Alright. If it's purpose, a little fresh air blew into the rooms, surely it's connected to the outside. That's true. That's it. So, that rain spray, rain spray. I'll find our way in the seas, rah, or rah, or something like that. I suppose. Maybe that is, that's it. Who was that? He wasn't here a minute ago. As far as I can tell, he might be out here. Me. Oh, how did he? You might have noticed that man too, have you? I don't know who he is or how he's got here, but he looks suspicious in a tall. Oh, oh I wanted to say, don't tell me. You don't even know who that is? Uh, well, no, I don't. Doesn't look like a member of the crew. There's something very unusual about him. And he is a. This. Well, in that case, you simply talk to him. I don't like this man would almost I'm probably excited. By the way, I expect you to know this already, but just in case, press X. We already know that. Oh, please do. Excuse me. Excuse me, do you have a moment? This is a critical point in my investigation.
I'm gonna have to leave him alone. He seems a little unfriendly. Yes, perhaps that would be for the best. Dang, I have to jump. Deduction hardly worth explanation. Have you been perhaps managed to do anything else? Of course, a great many things. There's no street, dear man, for example. I have to. You have fled. Just to be clear, they're talking about me, are you? Certainly I am. Do you see another cabin who fits in out? So it's true. I was with you. What? You're lying. No. I'm not. It's a shame for me. No. No, listen, there's no one. <sighs> oh, of course. Can you just let me be? This is ridiculous. I'm not even a. Sorry. How could you do that? I, for peace sake, open your eyes. I'm not a. Obviously. Oh, forgive me. And for you, what kind of deduction was that? You're just saying the first thing that comes to your head. Oh, but I was not right. Was I not right? Interest of foreign crime claims you definitely do you not. Oh yes, maybe. Well, then you have it. You see. Well, to be honest, this ship is en route to England, and I'm in handcuffs at the scene of a murder. So I'm not really sure what could call deduction. And more like a side plan of observation. Indeed. An observation, dear my boy, is the basis of a death. My method is upon observation trifles you with the announcement of finding the right. And more not, I'm right. Uh, I don't do s I didn't Ah, oh, my apologies. How am I missing me? The, of the century, uh, the man, the woman, all the world, and her luck comes. So, it's really you, the actual Harlock Holmes. Very same. <laughs> Admittable. Do you know this man, Saro san? The most famous detective in the world, Naburo san? And of course, there's nobody who has heard of her. What's the plant plot line that I've been living on then? <laughs> we must ask him what he did. However, really wide our feeling it. The 
the great detective. So, you're the great detective, are you? Sorry, but what was your name again? Oh, what? Indeed, I'm none other than one of the Herlock Holmes. Did he really? Oh, I see, you're German, Herlock Holmes. Was it? They didn't really have that big trouble with case, um, with, um, with, um, Detective Conan slash case closed and the fact that they could not get Sherlock Holmes or Dar um, Detective Arthur Doyle, Doyle, or, um, Arthur Doyle. Seriously? No one, uh, have a hair. Please call me Holmes, Holmes. You can read all about my exploits in the exciting London publication. publication. Oh yes, Rancid Magazine. And full of the wonders of stories and interesting articles from Great Britain. I never miss an issue. I've sent it from um, England. It was sent. I have sent it from England especially. Ah oh, yes, here it is. The Adventures of Herlock Holmes. So you're the prodigy, you're the protagonist in the series of the short stories. Then, indeed, I am. And you read so many of your own stories. You started to think you really are a detective. Oof! <laughs> Make no mistake. I'm not the poor, the deluded fellow you take me for. Your inference is backwards. Backwards. My trustworthy biographer records records my greatest detecting achievements, but in Chronicle, then in the mag in the magazine, you must have a big biographer, do you? Must accomplice. Doesn't everybody mind the name of Dr. Wilson presently keeping the shop in London? Oh, oh. Ouch! Dr. Wilson. I must say, thank you for signing that. I am. I'm returned from Asia, having solved the mystery of the cursed royal crown. Really, I can't work out whether I should tell the mysteries or not. The deduction, you see, has mapped me to science, logical reasoning, pursuit, in the pursuit of form. A science, really. There is a third uh, notice, even in the middle of a subtle reaction in this subject. A further glance, uh, further. They really uh, did not uh, translate further. A twitch of a muscle, a slight in inclination, a posture. Fingernails, arm sleeves, furrow brow, in the skin. All these things belong in data. Our data, right? And the train the lot. So makes the deductions from the data in the blink of an eye. You're kidding, dude. And the ultimate conclusion, without a fail, is the truth. I just demonstrated a few months, short months ago. How can you look at me in his eyes and call me that? Oh, you see, I have true born observation. And fine, that's what I mean. The only uh, This guy's gonna be a riot. <laughs> I have a feeling. Cause Miss Dab. I didn't introduce anything out of this ticket, okay? I didn't introduce anything. My dear friend. Who do you suppose discovered the culprit in this most hiding place? Hmm. Oh, I see. In other words, it's the one that's because, because when I became anxious about Kazuma this morning, I summoned all the crew to force the cow to open the door. And then I could tell them in their number, paint gaining entry to the scene of the crime. Yes, luckily for everyone, the great detective Herlock Holmes was on board. <sighs> and the handcuffs seemed to be an excellent fit, Mr. Navarro. 
Too fast and barely apparent to me. Oh, really? Too fast, you say? Where were you just investigating? Where did we start talking? You were examining Komazama's dad's part, yeah? Kazuma, ah, yes, the victim. Did you notice anything useful? Anything at all? Not far in a moment. The desktop of the victim. We already saw that. We s on the diary, Kazuma was keeping her notes on the trip. Ah, yes, but ah, uh, but I don't think we should read those part of writing. It could upset people. Tragic. And some and something you ought to perhaps emulate. Emulate. <laughs> We're at the rate. You mean you've read it before. Alright. I had some business and to know other people do not, yes. Believe it or not, I know it's a smattering of, a smattering of Japanese. Oh, I see. Wait, you were about to know what, Suzo. Haha, <laughs> so to take down it. Is that a song? I'm gonna be gonna draw him with the deck on my fucking heart deck now. I'm sorry, Naruto son. What are we? Ah, oh, you're kidding! Mm. Anyway, they're turned to Amber. And namely, the diary belongs to the victim. I wonder if here is the final sentence is incomplete. The author was cut short. What is the nature of this writing? Pretty precise detail. I thought you knew Japanese. A smattering, a smattering, a smattering. You mean a smitting? Sayonara, von Sight, Makino, Nasunato. Plus, I trust you're a frost. Ah, but the starter is literally complicated looking character, which I can read precisely none. So, was that all showing before about them? If you would be so kind to show me, I'll be happy to be in Mr. Holmes. <sighs> Much obliged, my dear madam. Final entry, because I'm his diary. Guess the two sorts in his first read. I can hear a faint whistling sound. A whistling sound? Hmm. Indeed, what? I was afraid to go on. The second sentence reads What looks like to be some sort of speckled band dangling from the ventilating gut of a bridle. A speckled band? What on earth does that mean? I have no idea. I've never heard of that expression before. Hmm, a ventilating grill, you say. That man, the man was presumably referring to. To the light, the light is, is there on the wall, which was connected to the dust adjoined cabinet. Yes, the adjoined cabinet. Yes. Too fat. Oh, well, please. Yeah. Too fat. You apparently were keen to the cabinet this morning. Ah, yes. First, let me this be a piece of Two facts questions are merely apparent to me. Yes, I understand. But what are they? Oh, they educate. Edulate. You mean ed educate? Two factors I deduce from merely voluntary glance on the crime scene were as follows. Number one, the cabinet was locked with that. Remem remaining on escape culprit out of the option. Other and two, the victim was Russian. The killer and killed following dispute within within acquaintance. I was acquainted at home. What do you mean you think the victim was Russian? Observe the dying message. He's Japanese. Two 
you really think Kazuma would left the dying message in Russian? And on the one moment, the native language was a young man's Russian. Kazuma was Russian, was, was he? He, initially I considered the great, the garb uh, of the name of the killer. <laughs> or a great barber, bar, perhaps. But, in, but I decided that the wrong, would be wrong. Where? Russian too. Um, I thought you were wearing the same attire as the victim. In other words, you were acquainted. If my memory serves, you know, Alabama's is tradition in dresses. Our school is tradition in dress. I had no, and I had no idea the detective could be something so wrong. I took a look photograph of the victim's message. My aunt was it for uh, hand glue. Immediately after the yes, had already been and I woke up. This is the first time I've actually seen him like this. Kazuma, are you all right, Miss Renaro? Oh, yes, thank you. Can you ask something, Mr. Sholmes? What? Sorry. You mentioned Russian before. Why didn't you know when I said I was Russian? Ah, uh, yes. The training of reasoning led me to the truth. Would you mind explaining the reasoning to me, do you think? Or, covering up, because... Only if it interests you. How many times? I'm not Russian. I don't speak Russian. Uh, you can talk all the time. But then you include. I mean, ah, uh, now the famous actor traveling only in front predicament where you find yourself. Actually, it was the other details I must. You know. The Merciless Russian Revolution, never mind. Part. Ah, oh, yes, the more solid details, the fairly common. We have here a morning paper. Main headline reads Mercenary villain, uh, both escape, uh, please be up, uh, Shanghai. The vessel report Shanghai last night. A young Russian was murdered. Since when Kazuma was Russian? Is it it sounds like Mr. Sholmes was concluded he was Russian because of what Kazuma wrote on the floor. It was simple act of reasoning over the kings and the masses. Right? One who could kill a man help him escape the true identity and discover. This is good. Yes, you. No, no. How could it be me? I'm not looking at this man. Just look at his face. Well, you are a fearsome revolutionary. Therefore, you have no doubt learned to revolutionize your parents as well. Ugh, please. And I might add, your name does not appear on the ship's list. I need to say more. That's because I'm a stowaway. What about the other details? The 16 victims assassinated, blowing up the press. I don't even... Ah, oh, yes, the journalist man hint fronted all these in the article. The deed of the man thus far can be plotted. That's a very revolutionary prophecy, indeed. Can't There can be no mistake. The revolutionaries have usually agreed to interviews with newspapers, reporters on corner, and what about the part where I said, and I'm returning from Afghanistan? Also, quite clearly, Sheer here in the article, oh, oh, it's for time the period of submissive activities, war torn region of Afghanistan. So they're adding art on what's going on here as well. Whatever it is, anyway. 
This Afghan stand, please. Here, take the paper yourself. A little memento, the great doctor. Oh, um, thank you. I absorb the interesting. Can we. And you may find the article back page interesting as well. On the back, cast your eyes on something that interests them. Take it. I couldn't. This was it. Isn't she? I suppose every more in the article. Do. I don't know. I can't make any sense of it. Ah, oh, I'm glad you know that article. This article. Ah, uh, I'm gonna give you a short summary of its contents. Thank you. I guess he's. It's about the disappearance of Lightning last night. We now Princess Ballerina. Ballerina of Notovich Ballet disappeared from Shanghai. During a performance in Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. She is, of course, talented young and uh, Nokalin Pavlova. What? Why are Russians' names so hard to remember? It would appear the woman was in costume when she was found missing. From her dressing room, wearing the diamond in the picture tiara in the picture, worth twenty thousand rubles. Oh, how much is twenty thousand rubles? I have no idea. I'm quite not quite sure. I mean, it's unbelievable sum of money. Sonson's eye shines in the dark. It has to be worth a lot of money. The tiara is a property of the oh, Nova uh, Nova, uh, Nova shit. Novavich, um, uh, ballet. Is that supposed to be Nova Scotch? But LA? He, I guess they try to, uh, fix that so we wouldn't get, um, the translation mixed. It would be seen the director is being beside herself and worth worry. Yes, I'm surprised. The company is most anxious to recover both Ms. Bovich and the rare TR. Most of the TR. The request international assistance all ports was sailing to Great Britain. Could that be another Russian fleeing from her country? It does seem that the Russian thing to be the Russian thing to do. Uh, no comment. I'm not getting anything in fine um, with that response, Mr. Noberto. I'm afraid I can't read the word Russian. No, me neither. I have no idea what it says. The pair of you found ring start is a floundering as a sort of site. Allow me to offer some assistance. The, off the article on the front page of the newspaper could heal the forensic um, fearsome Russian revolution. It reads, Revolutionary event, um, violin, Bolshevik flees Russia via Shanghai. Yes, you told us that before. It's revealed that the man and spirit with his own eyes never li lives to tell the tale. Oh goodness, what is fierce? He is fierce. Well, presumably the news photographer was alright, wasn't he? That solution is obvious, of course. He despised his spirit to, the, to that degree. But he need not to shave it off. I'm... Quite, quite sure what the problem is, Mr. Jones.
again. Oh, I believe I give you enough because you have somewhere to go. As it happens, the victim's writing in a diary piqued my interest. The matter is warrants and investigation, I believe, so long sickness. Oh, I suppose. You're thinking of investigating the cabin next door. The ventilation content, too. The great detectives curious breed. Our minds rebel against stagnate. We have mental exhaustion. So I tend to investigate. Hence, the truth will become clear soon. Do you perhaps could you. Could we. Uh, um, no, that would be somewhat complicated. What? Why? Okay, so your wrist would reveal the answer. <sighs> oh, those. After all, the, the prime shotgun in this matter, no. The, there's a point to turning this into a question. There are some. You are the one who does the code in the first place. Whatever you mean. I have recollection, no recollection of naming you as the culprit at any point. You must be joking. You said it, it only a moment ago. Dear me, you are clearly misguided. You, I have no cause to such, to say such things. Well, actually, Mr. Sholmes, I did hear you say that too. You are quite sure. Well, that's very strange. I wouldn't have said you that you had to face the criminal, face of a criminal. You know, you not really. For so what? You're looking at my knees before, or so the great detective you are. So well, anyway, that's the um, and what do you mean? What I mean, sir, is this: if you're the culprit, then you must. Hey, play the part more convincing. Rule accept their fate. <laughs> I was just being the brain rude. And off he goes, having just laughed in my face. Sense of humor twisted me. Where is that? What are you standing here for? Huh? We must go investigate the cabin next door as well. Aren't you forgetting something? What about these? This way I can't. You're kidding! After Kazuma spent his dying life moment struggling to leave, money, leave us clues, you're willing to give up? You're just going over to roll and accept your fate? Ugh. As if you gave me any more choice, chance of rolling over part? In the rolling over part? I still think we have some investigation to finish off in here first, don't we? Let's carry examining the cabinet while we wait for a chance to slip at the door. There you go. This situation doesn't look good for me, but there's still something that I can help I can do to help myself. I, I do all the good my life to do anything I can to find a way out of this and bring the real comfort to justice. Is that Something's wrong, Naruto son. Oh no, it's just the crewman or the door. I can't help but feel like I've seen them somewhere before. Oh yes, you're right. He looks does look for now. Excuse me, sir. Yes? What can I do for you? I recognize that face, but Yep, it's you. Oh, it is. I don't know you. That's back to home. You were here. Holmes. Also Nagi. It's also Nagi. What are you doing here? I think you should. That should be my line. I'm stunned. I saw you when my heart fell. I hope. Oh, again! 
You certainly seem to enjoy an undercover work, Inspector. Yes, he does. <sighs> if there's anything I can help you, please ask. I never expected to see this man on board, but perhaps his presence can help me out in this hopeless situation. I'm sorry, but I can't read Russian very well. Oh, that's alright. I know what it says. So you just wanted to point that out to the university level intellectualistic talent that is Nari. Not like nothing like me regular schooling, you know something much greater. Is that why you're trying to say? Sorry, or again, I mentioned it. Uh. Special orders. So why are you special orders this time, Inspector? Yes, and why are you dressed like a member of the crew? I'm so sorry. Hmm? This is all my fault. I take full responsibility for for what? My orders were to act as a Sanagi's bodyguard. You. It was the Minister of Justice who pushed for this overseas tour to go ahead. And he certainly trusted me to ensure that Sagi can reach Great Britain without being assassinated. Assassinated have been a possibility. I'm not sure. But these are complicated times. There are tensions between the world's greatest powers. Minister Jahoku, who said we should prepare for all eventualities. This is incredible. I don't believe it. Customer was assassinated. Obviously, we don't, wouldn't, couldn't, wouldn't give us a visible security escort. Which is why I'm undercover now, posing as one of the crew. I see. And I didn't take my eyes off him the entire time on board for the morning until the night every day. Even imagine what happened here, inside his own cabin. Not here in the first class deck. I failed miserably at my assignment. And a soggy's death is a result. <sighs> when I'm in disgrace, I can humbly apologize. It's back there. So if there's anything I can do to help now, just say the word. Let's investigate. Investigate. We're doing what we can to investigate his death ourselves. I thought you might be. You didn't do it, did you? You were not the killer. Of course not. You really would like to investigate the cabin next door. Yes, we need to allow the... Oh, this cabin. I'm sorry. What? You're bending risk of shade safety. If you move or even touch the handle of the cabin doors, I'm that stormy looking seaman would certainly snap your neck in two, I suppose. I I'm just a stole, not just a stole, they think I'm a murderer as well. Would it be possible to give me something that will work? You, you think some or that might, you might, I need to something for persuasive. What do you mean? I had a solid reason why the next horse should be investigated for some reason. I do everything I could to persuade the captain to allow it. Really, I laid my life on the line. I had to. But I don't see how. There may be a way. What? 
Really? Think of how you try to persuade me of your innocence, person. Presenting me with a piece of evidence that you already had in your present evidence. That's just the same way how you were in the court. Alright, they're in the file. Simple. Yes. So, evidence that would have given a no reason to investigate the next one. Alright, yes, I think I. Sorry. It's just before he died, Kazuma wrote something strange in his diary. Strange? In what way? He wrote, What's this looking kind of thing, speckled band, dangling from the vagrant's um, ventilator? A speckled band? That is strange. Yes, we're still trying to work out what that means. Like, I, what I like to know is. Don't tell me. The ventilation. Ventilator. Is it? You Very astute, Inspector. The ventilation is clearly drawing into the next room in the cabin. That's right. If we could investigate in there, we might be able to find out what the Spectre Band was. I don't know. Alright then. I can't leave, leave this cabin for at the moment. I'm stuck here until we arrive at the next port. The captain's give me strict orders to guard the scene of the crime you see. I have it to entrust your invest I have to entrust the investigation to you. So you're willing to do that? Yes, as long as you don't leave the first class cabin area. I'm afraid I can't remove the handcuff cell. But what about the captain? Aren't you going against these right his direct orders? <laughs> I'm a man of my word. And I promise you that I'll lay down my life on the line that's willing to convince the captain. After all, I failed to keep us all state. It's the least I can do. Thank you. Let's seize the moment. Quite what I expected. The, it's the least spacious out here, though. Then I thought it would be. I would be. And the most luxurious accommodation. Yes, indeed. As long as I was actually being sent to a study tour by the government, then why? That's why he was being put up in first class. Yeah. And still, oh, this is about twice as large as my accommodation in the storage. Really? What? That must be awful. Oh, look over there. I mean, another group of keeping watch. He looks anemious. He be sitting down. The door next to him must lead to the second class accommodation. I suppose he's making sure that no one comes in who shouldn't. I suppose. People like handcuffs. You like people in handcuffs. I guess someone looks like, You look like a little boy visiting a tour a toy shop for the first time. <coughs> Excuse me. I would have thought you might um, be used to the ship. By now, we've been overseas for two weeks already. Yeah, yes, I know. But the thing is, I was inside because I'm drunk for the first when I first came aboard. And ever since then, I've been shut up inside that little wardrobe. It must have been very trying, a very trying time for you. Please don't give me that pity look. Ah, that 
trap. A trap for catching mice. Yes. We have plenty we have plenty of those back in home in Japan. Although they seem to be using lumps of chalk or something as bait. Let's see. Ah, yes. Ugh. That's what it's called. Cheese. Made from milk of cows. Cheese. I wonder what it tastes like. Don't. You can't eat it, number of son. The trap will snap your finger in half. Oh, really? But. Uh, I was here, right? You weren't supposed. weren't actually going to try it, were you? Uh, well, I have ate this the past couple of weeks. Bark is Kusama's leftovers. You don't know how hungry I've been in that wardrobe. Who are you? I'll find a little snack for you later. What do you think of this? It's very blazing shape, isn't it? That's the emergency alarm. It's probably not best not to touch it. Oh, an alarm. It says press only when in times of emergency. It looks as though it set alarms bells ring all over the ship. Brings the vessel to a complete stop. Oh, this no don't touch it. You know full well what that's not what an alarm's for. If you were ring a standstill for no good reason, you'll be even worse situation. <sighs> I wish everything would just stop, the ship included. If you really have to do something foolish, at least make it something that doesn't affect you, anyone else. Like this. This looks like the plans for the SS Burrow. It shows those each deck look. The Burrow largest scale stern ship is, is with a triple skin hull. What a marvel engineer. Well, it's been pl pay playing in my, on my mind for a while. But, uh, for now, but actually, how, how, how is this huge large ship of metal doesn't sink to the bottom of the ocean? Oh, that's reasonably simple, Narbuzan. Is it? Well, of course, the Japanese archipelago. The island of Japan, the islands of Japan. Yes, they are not metal, but there are enormous lumps of earth, but many, many um, times larger than a ship. They don't sink, do they? They've been floating in happily on the sea <laughs> since God created them. Well, I suppose so. Well, that's awkward. That's a huge book on a the table there, and there's a pen next to it. Yes, that looks like the ship's log. So we have a look through it. So neat and precise. Every detail about the voyage has been meticulously recorded. Hmm. You wouldn't expect a rough and ready sailor to have such a beautiful handwriting. And nothing. Nothing. No reaction at all. Uh, I would at least give him that. I might be appreciated a little, but appreciated the compliment. I'm not sure the rough and ready is much of a compliment of our son, even to a sailor. Ah, uh, touche. Anyway, last night's log was mostly blank. Presumably, that means nothing to report. Start, isn't it? All right, let me try it, Dad. Good day, Mr. Sam. I'm sorry to trouble you, but could we? I've asked a little thorough, my lady. 
Oof. Oh. We seem to caught the sailor in a bad move, Sarkarni son. I'm not a sailor. My mother gave me a name. I'm senior crewman, Biff Strongvents. Strong Nov. Strong, strong Nov. Ooh, that's the best thing to avoid eye contact, I think. First class area. That's the strong Nov about the first class cabin area. We here in the finest parts of the barrel of cars ship for, for a very important person. What sort of important person? Government officials, kings, queens, traveling, secret, and secret, many important persons. That's why I'm always guarding this place. Gosh, that's amazing. But some. Oh, let's. I wanted to pick you up and throw you in the ocean, but Strongo is not an animal. Thank you. Find me, I was wondering. Is the captain next to Mr. Sagi is currently <laughs> occupied? Hello. Uh, is that what I said? Do you understand that? That sounds like the. If... I think it's possible for a yes or no. Thing is, it's not permitted to visitors other cabins without this. Well, it sounds like there's somebody next door, Gavin Elise. Yes, it's taintless. Tantalous. Tantalizing. Last night, you were semen strong all the time. No criminal like you cannot come in or get out. I wonder, could you tell us anything about the last night at all? It says, it's, it is sad about the student body, the student boy. Were you watched last night as well? Of course. But, and you didn't notice anything at the time? Anything unusual? Uh, er, in other words, I was on, do you understand that? It's clearly a no. It was clearly a no. You don't even need a translation for that. Uh, I saw nothing usual, nothing at all. Do you even hear a strange noise or sense of anything wrong in some way? I said no. Ari. If I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I could have sworn he wouldn't catch my eye for a moment there. Can you tell us the traveling captain next, Mr. Sorry? That's a no. His name is Mr. Grinsby Wylight. He is a very important Western gentleman. A Western gentleman? Do you not don't think about it? He has nothing to do with the murder of Stin Boy. He may, how can you be sure about that? Mr. Wylight is an offensive Western gentleman. Such a man have no interest in a lowly student from insignificant far western islands. That was harsh. Your name was about Marlott when Marla came aboard. That's none of your business. Come to think of it, even though we've been on the seas for two weeks and I've been consumer scavenger the entire time, I've never heard once anything from the next door cabin. Or even felt like anyone's there. Well, uh, presumably, since the gentleman is occupying one first class cabin, must be a rather important, isn't that right? Uh, that's not your business, of course. That is enough, I cannot say more. Oh, it's time for me to report to the captain. Rest for turn to the captain. Yes, alright. Bucklehead, Bucklehead to the second class. This area is staying locked in all time. At all times. You escape when a lobster whistles on top of the mountain. 
Or, as I gonna say, when the flight when pigs fly. Yes, I understand. Good. We can now investigate the air properly, shall we? Definitely. That's the way to the second class area of the ship. Something wrong? I wasn't thinking about making a run for it. Just for a moment. Things aren't exactly going well for me. Um, but I imagine for unless you reach for the handle and more. That buried, that really seaman would have shot you dead. True. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, neighbor. It was a neighbor. Sorry, perhaps I went a little too far. No, I started walk. Learning my walk with talk of running away. And there's no way I could run away while Kazuma's death missed. It's a mystery anyway. This is it. This is the cavern next to ours. The one with the ventilation next to. Yes, the ventilation which Osama wrote from, saying this bounce. He saw a speculative of the band at first. Maybe whoever's in the cabin to help solve the particular mystery, Liza. No answer. We're out of luck, it seems. No one else is will help us in with our quarries. How annoying! Ah. What was that? Oh, there's another. No 
I saw someone. I don't know what I saw. I saw a knocking down the door and saying this. Please, there's a strong weight with the phones. The door doesn't appear to be bolted. It doesn't. And how am I, can I do this to this past my cellar Mars? But for a, a can I kick? I think that we should go in. There's no time to think about a stress relief. This is Gloria. First class. Cabin number two. Who are you? Western gentleman. The man is going to We've heard him on the screen. Oh yes, sir. As you see, nobody in here in this cavern. True, beyond this honor. But in that case, who just screamed? Now, now. Please excuse me, Miss. You are missing. Yes, that's me. Here we are. I am the one and only Harlock Holmes, and you have to hurt me. Oh. I'm the way to take Ugh. This man is you. Ugh. A uh, detective. I mean, I didn't. No. Oh, the same of the screams and everything within these walls. There wouldn't be appear to be a lady concealing yourself from the, within the wardrobe. Or it might be bolt. The molding. So, don't be stupid. How can I? And now. Well, it's quite fashionable these days. They're not traveling inside one swamp. Don't look at me. Oh, I did that. You see that? Is there now? Yes. 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 Leave now. So this is Kazuma's neighbor. It's a Grimsley Royal. There's no doubt about it. The very strange Russian man is hiding something. I couldn't agree more. Let's see what we can find clues. It's really about the sailor. seem to be aimed what we can do. I agree, but there's something else that we can help. Hmm. The great detective could get someone with him. To get somewhere with Mr. Roth. Um, do you have a moment please, Mr. Jones? Jones? Yes, you need only address Mr. Jones. That's what I just did, isn't it? Well, um, Mr. Jones, what are you doing there? I... Uh, adulting, of course. Resting, of course. Resting. Indeed, I was contemplating on this tea voyage on the confines of the road or restless of waiting. Waiting for the inevitable time that you need to call the great powers of the... T oh, boy. Am I mistaken? No, oh, um, no, actually, you're also not, or want. The Russian post in the cabinet is clearly hiding behind something. And you know what's the most effective weapon against it. Why? The truth, of course. This should be. Pointing out such methods are not exclusive for Russia, for the Russian, right? Can you imagine how the Russian will react when a secretly guards so closely gets closed? Would you like to witness it? Oh yes, please. Well then, what you're about to see is more stunning yet. 
Arnold applied the great detective's greatly admired the great deduction to the case. Oh boy. Gregory is going to be more uh, hackneyed a portrayal of a dubious Russian, I ask. What? For time, time to time, it occurs to me. Is the fellow dubious account of his Russian or Russian and on acts on account of dubiousness? I, I really don't think of those are should be occurring to you or anyone. That's right, and yeah, Mr. Shawns. I know the man's beard is dark as glasses are hard to ignore, especially on the first meeting, but I once I read in the capital it's a capital mistake to theorize before you have all the evidence and bias to address it. I might have in complete silence. What are you doing? Are you Ah, just as I thought. Yes, I have quite made up my mind now. Mm -hmm. Explanation of comedies are all the facts. It's a role I wish to go and control um controllable illusions. What what do you mean? One, your true identity is that of a villain. The reason serious is your values. And are you not? Ah. And at number two, the other conclusion I have drawn, you are the moment, the moment, the mess of committing beneath the beard. And your mouth quivers and with the nervous and attention you realize you've been discovered. Does it not? Ah. No time. Listen, I never imagined that was a great deduction. Nothing is easy. It's a single glance at the... What? Oh, yeah. Ugh. There we go with this. <laughs> I can hardly believe it, but all the colors drained from Mr. Foyette's were like today. It looks like somehow both Sean's conclusion were right. Ow. How could you? How could you possibly know I have things? What how you wish to say? Very well then. I shall do you like Ludic King. Luda King. Please just tell me error's conclusion. So I use the journey to logical discovery. Let's born to train the reasoning. But plainly, let us work together, deduce together, deduction together. Game of foot is a foot. Old man identity. So the dubious Russian um Mr. Hoyt were like obviously what catches his eye in the first place. Is, is he an orange shears in the hand? Now we're asking what you possibly want him. Of course, the answer of course is staring at us in the face. Your answer is the verge is to cut a copy of spear on the spot. Now moving on. The question is being this, why would you deserve to rid yourself of the menacing revere of Mr. Rowlight? Once again, the answer is plain. Regards to willing the morning's newspaper in particular fashion front page. Which appears to have read also Mr. Horlick. I'm sure you need a fortification. The evidence reveals your identity is a lot. Okay. The translation, the headline reads by the Wolf and Balin. And Basilet, we reach Russia, Russia, say hi, your side. 
I, as you cannot fail to observe, the article processes as only only cop copy his beard. Have you noticed the article is somehow deduced you removed the incriminating hair to give you away? Your truth is beyond a doubt. You experienced some Russian revolution against happened. And not, not I heard of myself being on A revolutionary on. As for my second conclusion, and you are the very moment at this very moment of the breakup of many years of mine. I'm over there. Oh yes, Mr. Wild. Taking awareness of people will have prosperities a lot to their strife, you see. Oh. I assure you, you you speak so much more ad eloquently, honestly, than the mouth. The answer you seek is a future of inverted of plants of calls. Proof of your crime still within your eyes. Yes, you're traveling case. I don't think the case might be open in its contents like before. No, I refuse. What could it possibly be concealing inside, we ask? By the, uh, my estimation? In the lake, perhaps? Or on the site of, of, of our Darien? Don't be absurd. And what prey be the, the identity of this young lady's traveling? Dear me, we shouldn't be. You're careless, but crazy. Upon the answer. Yes, the reason you refuse to open your travel case is because it's found in the past way of the day. There is another most stimulating article. As further fleeing the revolutionary in the back page, the renowned print. Yeah, I'm not gonna pronounce that. Such a headline, but one conclusion. Your decline is of abduction. Abduction. Us, and according to the oracles, your young lady's name is there. Uh. So we gotta figure out his logic problems. And uh, this concludes the great deduction of the Russian enigma. And that's when, I can't even pronounce that. There's a few things I have a problem with. So there's one that was wasn't one of the great detective deductions I've been hearing about. But was it? Well, um, the stories are full of some deductions, you know. But that did seem a little different somehow. Excuse me, Solmes. Could you please come over for a moment? It, Right? What can I do for you? It's about your deductions. What do you mind? Not at all. Go on. Well, let's start with the newspaper article. To think we even have some of the same. Okay. I think we have the same the discussion before, but these two men look nothing like each other. Ah, uh, yes. I recall our discussion earlier. Uh, and the time I do, I believe I told you. That man is revolutionary. We're able to revolutionize his own appearance. In all fair, in fairness, Mr. Solmes, Mr. Warlight does not look like more like that man, and then you do. That's not the point. Another thing, part about as that thing about the battle, indeed, a truly startling revolution. At first glance, the case would be too small to cover any animal. No, it's not at first glance. It's too small, clearly. You're barely, barely fits a fire in the trial in that case, even if you pushed really hard. I don't suppose the missing ballerina's five-year-old, gee. You mean you don't know? The young lady's 15. 
Wow, she's young. No, I didn't know. How could I? Hmm. Well, even if she's 15, 10 year olds weren't, weren't picking from the case. Some seven year olds. Some years ago, I read something pertained, I believe. Continent, I believe. A troop of men consuming vinegar daily in order to promote or a certain life, life, um, liftiness in their bodies. Vinegar. <sighs> For such a sour bunch, it would seem particularly itself and con contort oneself in the minds of the small case. Oh dear, you might be thinking of contortionists in the circus, Mr. Sholmes. Ugh, the whole thing's turning into a circus. I agree. <laughs> Something occurred to me about Mr. Souls' deduction this time. His power of observation were magical, yet his eyes, his eyes cut to the matter almost instantly. It's just where his direction of his attention and his logic seems a little off. A little off. Maybe a little off itself. A little help, oh, Mr. Sardo. Just one, two key words and his deduction seemed a lot let him down. I was wondering. It might be the time to switch to the front alternate. What do you think? Hmm. Switch two key words. That's seduction. Yes. What? Alright. Let's see if you could. We unlock the true genius of Sherlock Holmes and Precisely. The thought was going through my own mind. Uh, this has a lot of work. At times, I wonder if anyone puts up with me. <laughs> uh, that's not funny. I agree. And as for you, good fellow, my good fellow, sorry. Take a moment to look at your wrist. My wrist. Huh? We're done. Oh, boy. Huh? How did. I feel. I felt they may hinder your ability in my dance position. I don't believe it. So, you're normal. And don't worry, I shall restore the jack of your wrist. I'm not worried, in fact, I'd rather stay like this. So, let's begin. So. <sighs> force, force, and force. Wait, hold it, Mr. Holmes. <sighs> so, there we Is to cut off a beard. It's no doubt something I've ever heard, not to worry the question. And though, me right now, it doesn't seem right it was Mr. Either. Which means I suppose the deduction was wrong. Try to switch the word right here, so it might help matters. Alright, but how? We should be talking about, we should start by talking a hard look at. Is it really hard? Is we are shears on? Exactly. I if we do manage to find something that fits the sense of Mr. Sholmes' deduction better. Let's see. Then what? Leave the rest of you with a capable hand of the Why well, am I the only one who's to do something about this? I all anyway. Let's see if there's anything I can switch around. What exactly it's going to use that as a Norris Tier 4. There we go. What the? I remember this from the trailer. Um, what the? What is this? It looks like that question. It's done in gold mine. No, 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 no. The color. That is not the point. The point is, what's it doing on the back of Mr. Hollis' head? It's growing out from underneath his thick black hair. 
Well, yes, that's true. So, it's definitely beautiful and surprisingly. It's not even surprising. Something's definitely not right here. Yes! Go on. You're on a verge of using the shears to cut the golden locks you support. Indeed, you have identity person. By the precise detail I was intended to expose. Such lost golden here does not benefit an old man. It's not the man you're isn't you're not a man at all. Judge my you're a woman, judge my life the shears the gene of your hair. One still very much in her youth. Oh no. If only I managed to cut off my hair, not only no one would have suspected. The question is vague as this, why would you find that kind of locks? Once again, the question explains we can have clear evidence that like I need a form of clarification. Gamma's reveals your true identity. Well... Yeah, that's definitely. No man was really disguised as a woman, did you? I had no idea. <laughs> what? Why are you staring at me like that? Yes, it was a surprise, never the sun. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Uh, sorry. You look like you're in your element as a dancer around in the room. <laughs> the deduction, deducing the facts with Mr. Shaw. I'm just doing what we agreed. I'm not having fun or anything. That is strictly, I can't even get that. Yes, I understand, say no more. Let's, well, anyway, the dark next part of Mr. Shaw. Evidence that picks up it doesn't fit the facts right now. Oh, no, that's true. Given this is actually a woman. Exactly. He, or rather she, can't possibly be the medicine revolt. I suppose because the deduction not taken has taken a different direction now. Yes. Let's switch the evidence to some reason a woman needed to try higher or true identity. I feel as though I read I heard about a young woman in a situation like that recently. All right, I did my best. Yes. Evidence reveals your true identity, and of course, it's the article about the ballerina. That's right. You hit the nail on the head. You're now a prima ballerina of the Novavitch Ballet disappeared from Shanghai. It appeared we finally addressed your true name. Yes, because your true identity is that of the Novavitch Ballerina, Prime Prime Ballerina. Miss Nuk Miss Nukalina Apollo Ball. Please, I beg you, don't tell anyone. Now, ballerina on the run. So, on to me. Okay. Now, as far as my second question, <laughs> you're the very moment of the ring the community of the rest of the time. And the proof of the crime is over there. Oh, Miss Oh yes, Miss Butterball. Taking awareness of the people that let their eyes astray see. I 
after you speak, there's much more I look like, honestly, than your mouth. Than mouth. The answer we see lies for. Okay. The proof of your crime is in your eyes. Yes, the challenge case. The woman is the battle on her right. She's right in front of her eyes. And she's right in front of her eyes. And she's clearly camping inside the traveling case as well. No, that's right. It seems like she was a duck. wasn't a duck at all. And with that case, what is the crime the young woman is apparently committing? Uh, uh, I can I can see I won't have to step in and fix the, the great detective's mistake. You're gonna look pleased, mister. See that? I didn't have a chance of the dance to dance around it. Stop it. Anyway, there's must be something that that shows what the woman's up to. Oh, is that the dazzling tiara? I've never seen anything like that. I mean, the real diamonds, don't you think? Oh, number of sun, try not. What, me? Isn't it usual for girls to wear tiaras? I want one you know, like to try not. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Too far beautiful. Why does the tiara look familiar? It feels like I've seen it somewhere before recently. Yes! Surely the tiara. I believe this tiara was one of the stage dancer and went over to the wall, isn't it? Indeed, it would appear to be identical to the tiara in the picture of the newspaper article. And in the recording, it's believed to be 20,000 rubles. In summary, the crime you committed. Yes, you your dollar friend. Sorry. Extremely long, extremely long. Alright, I will tell you his name. There is no point in hiding it. Come on, let us not be hasty. There is some reason to unsolve mystery about you. Mystery? What? What do you mean? You have a selection of refused to open the travel case in your presence. It's reasonable to conclude, therefore, that there's a system reason why is that not Miss Paloma? Um, my dear, there's no event since the playing games make no escaping. Indeed. He's completely changed track, tap, changed tack with his own deduction now. I think Mr. Shones is adapting his logic to changing circumstances, don't you think? Maybe, but why has he suddenly looked at the bookshelf into all this? Well, yeah, it's a while against Shirley. Oh, do you think so? Well, it doesn't seem likely the reason why the young woman doesn't want her, want her, uh, to open her case. It would, what have been written in the books, doesn't it belong to her? Ah, uh, yes, yes, that's true, but still, the follower is certainly, uh, Castle Rock is on the direction of Nova's herself. 
then there has to be another reason why she won't open her case. Her case. That's where her case. I agree, that's the only answer. Whatever she's hiding inside, inside the case should be revealed by her glaze. Glaze and the rest of Objects and cabinets, pets are certainly forbidden. Indeed, the case of your is something from carrying from an investment. This is the real reason why you refuse to open it, thus, revealing the content. I and we've seen the trunk wobble more time, more than for a few times, but not a weapon or a dangerous item. One move on that zone for which leads to a possibility of more exposure. It's a traveling case. It's a pet. <laughs> so clearly you weren't a we say you were. No, I am not grimly blah blah blah. My name is Nicolina blah 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 blah. Everything you said was correct. You you were scaling during Scounded during the whole valley company performance in order to escape your home life. Later at the same night, you stole the, the stole aboard this vessel, which couldn't have been easy. The the Bury is a huge storage ship with a vast crew. She, could she really have snuck in without being noticed? I'm gonna introduce your true identity. You somewhat recklessly told the guys of an old gentleman. As you intended to sever all links to your past, severing your long hair. You yet to a woman, a hair hair is nothing matter trifling matter. My personal recommendation is to leave well alone. So, is it if it's just you that's about to cut off your hair? Who was the one that let out the scream outside the cabinet? That ever? Oh, well, it's no other than the lady in you know. More likely to fall set up pipes, if you ask me. I was so scared when I ran into the shank. I mean, I surely I was sure they wouldn't come looking for me. That's why I decided to how you say Disguise myself so no one would recognize me. Transform yourself into a questionable old man, I see. I put on the fur hat and fake beard. Then, the, the, just before you came, I saw the newspaper. Right on the page was the picture of me. I was so frightened, I couldn't stop screaming. Stop and scream. I knew if I didn't change my appearance completely, they would find me. So I decided to cut my hair as fast as possible. I picked up the scissors of hand and at this precise moment we walked through the annoyingly unlocked cab door. Things happen like that sometimes, don't they? Yeah, you don't say. They do. Things do exactly happen like that from no time. time. Are the two talking about the same thing? There's just one more thing I'd like to know. The 
exactly do you have inside that trap? You were right, it's my dear friend. It is my dear friend, my only friend in my whole world. In the whole world. Please, don't tell anyone. If the cat had found out, it is aging the crew. Your secret safe with us. I can show you, but it was her. You must tell us. Most details are getting monster. The events of last night. Yes, alright. I will tell you. Well, nothing to know about. Wasn't it something, Mr. Shones? It was certainly something, yes. I'm not certainly sure why. But at least Miss Paula has agreed to tell us what she knows. That's incredible. Indeed, it is incredible. Ugh. Uh, and one more thing. Of course. Oh, yes, what? Oh, that was over your wrist. Of course. I, uh. Aw, you're a man. A cop again. Oh, wow. Well, I'm just doing my board, I was. Uh, I don't know why. This is still a shadow of a guilt cast over you, Mr. Naruto. I'm sorry to say, it can't be helped at the moment. Ugh, I can't really. Can it really? Can you listen to what Ms. Mavala has to say? I can't go on knowing. I have to find out what spectacle with the spectacular band that goes in my rope. And the diary was. Well, it was. What happened last night? You know someone that was killed in the cabin next door last night. One of the crew members told me this morning when I was eating breakfast. The man who died, he was a friend of mine. Oh! That's why we we're trying to figure out what happened. Did, did you notice anything evil last night? Perhaps you heard a strange noise, for example, perhaps people talking. Perhaps a ship was aboard, right? While Tempest, perhaps the engine seam is in Perhaps everything on board would have noticed that if that happened. Is there anything you can tell us? I don't know. I'm sorry, but all I could do was think about last night. Was was it done? Was I, what I'd done? Whether they have found me? I did not notice anything that was happening around me. Oh, I see. Oh boy. Or anyway. We're running away from the Ballard Company, haven't you? The Novanich Ballard? Novanich. Novanich. Yes. I'm traveling to Great Britain, and from there, the goat wanted to go to America. I will never dance again. I want to forget everything about the ballet. I will start a new life. You wish to forget a challenging proposition. I have striking Tira as a running. Here is mine. I need to live. I need to live. I have no money of my own. Now, Novadish Ballet gives us only food, water, and we must dance all over the world. I had to run away. I had no choice. If I stayed, I would have. It would have killed me. Killed you. So you ran away to protect yourself. Yes, uh, and the crew on the and the crew of the ship, they would have been all kind, all been all the kind to me. They let me come aboard, and they said I could hide in the cabinet. This cabinet. So they knew it's all indeed true, Miss Paulina. It creates the most intriguing conundrum. Yes, it does. The cat, the crew knew. What do you think about it, Mr. No? Me? Oh, well, yes. Of course. I think we should hear my son. To what conundrum? I'm not sure. Your friend? So, the friend you mentioned traveling inside your case, right? Is right. 
I don't think animals are allowed aboard according to the guide passage. Oh, please don't tell. Please don't tell any of the crew. I found my precious. Then the burly Russians would restore themselves in on unison to throw you and, and your case overboard. Uh, no doubt. Uh, sure. So reassuring, Professor Jones. But what sort of pet is your friend? A little puppy, is it? Isn't it? I think I know what it is. Maybe in the world around. Uh uh. Are you afraid of the Russians is small? Unless, uh, do you? Uh, point taken. I have no idea. Uh, you two miserable bird. Or miserable bungle. Bungle. Bung bungalows. Uh, this is the nature of the ballerina's friends. Is it obvious? Is it chicken? There must be a uh, Considering the benefits. A Russian wake up call. A friend they uh I don't think so. You eat your friends, I remember that. Uh, uh, ah, it's a snake. It has to be. She's obviously quite There's something I should show her that I think. Maybe she's thinking we'll some sunlight on it. It was only yesterday you have sent I've sent it from ballerine ballet. Now to be the case Oh come on. Peace. It must have been last night that you uh, brought it this uh vessel. Or this or this vessel. However, that's as far as stop at no ports last night. Ah, oh, that's it, of course. So how is this, Fred? How do you come to port? You get bored. Now that I think about it, the crewmen outside the cabin were acting strangely when we mentioned that. It was just after we asked them about it. I can find other cabin aboard. That's none of your business. Yes, you're right. He does seem to be hiding something. An angel is sending them upon from the heavens, bracing the beauty of to the stage. What's so what? Sorry, what was that? In Russian, it is how the Russian describe described one more performance. And that's how I came here too, descending from the heavens, because I'm in it. Considering how the English isn't in my mo your mother's tongue, your description is very vivid. And there's also, I never can resist the touch of a dramatic. I think it's the same. And it's from heavens. It's abusing for deduction. In other words, a quote. That's Shams. Yes, Mr. Snow. Yes, Mr. Snow. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it doesn't look like Miss Oz is going to tell us what really happened.
Do you know about this Marceline Revolution already? No. But when I saw the picture, I couldn't believe it. He just looks like me in the sky. Am I the only one out here with eyes? The other man wearing the brown, he's also said so. <laughs> he said he looks the same. You look the same. The other man wearing the brown also said he's the same. They look the same. Yes, we also said a lot of things, but I have a strong feeling that beside you and the great detective, you won't find another soul on you who thinks there's a similarity to you. I don't know, I will allow you to know, you know, this is almost, no, 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 I'm never doing that. <laughs> it's all well about this art. You look beautiful, like a fairy. I'm scared. If my picture is in the newspaper, you're a poor, you're, you poor girl. You're already young, just 15 years old. Not must have run for her to run right all by herself. She must have felt very, very lost. Sound. And a few moments later, the one guarding him, it looks like something in the speckled van, or a speckled van dangling in front of the ventilation jar. A speckled van, I don't understand. It's strange, isn't it? But the ventilation he mentioned joins my cabin, you see. Up there on the wall. In other words, there's the cabin and the victims are connected together. Oh. Miss Bobalona, is something occurred to you? The speckled man the victim mentioned has something the best. Perhaps. No. No, oh, anything. Oh. to investigate this cabin until later. What a pity. And here goes the TV. And so we lost our chance. Having still no manners to investigate Miss Favola's cavern, we were un un simultaneously chased out. That said, we were quite literally picked up and thrown into the fastest way outside. And I think this is a good time to call it a stream for now. Um, and we will continue. Um, you. You part two. And we'll continue. Um, in a... Yeah, in a few hours. 
probably a half hour to a few hours. Alright guys, I'm Mam Gunnels 3. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. See you next time.